Hello guys, it's iPod Touchballer, and today's the day. I'm going to show you how to get firmware 2.0 on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now, I'll tell you this right now. I have an iPhone firmware, and I worked with some coding, and I think I have it um, with installer. But I'll get somebody to test it first before I can give that out. So, the only one in the video description will be the iPod, but I think I've got the iPhone jailbroke and I'm going to check that. But the iPod one is not. So, yeah. You'll need to download the stuff in the video description, which I'm pretty sure is just these three things. Uh, Winpone, the iTunes, um, and you'll need that later, I'll tell you why. And the iPod Touch 2.0 firmware. First, we'll go ahead and install Winpone. Next, make sure all of it's um, checked and press next. Make sure it goes to program files and just let it go. It doesn't take too long. <laughs> and we'll just let that go. And all credit for the iPod firmware goes to whoever made it. I have no idea who it was. <laughs> And then this comes up, just press finish. And you now have the Winpone icon. Before you do anything else, go into... and Make sure you install it before you do this. Go into My Computer, Local Disk C, Program Files, and find CMW, Winpone, and take that other folder I gave you, the iTunes, whatever, and take the two stuff, the, the two files that's in there, and bring and drag it in. And it'll say that they're placing them yes to all. And just X out of that. Now you can just X that out, and this is what you have. So open up Winpone. Browse IPSW. Make sure your iPod is connected. And find wherever you save the iPod Touch 1.1.4. Um, I think mine might be in the. Yeah, here it is. There's my 1.1.4. And let it do this thing. Is it going to come up in a sec? And I'll say it's recognized as the 1.1.4. Now, make sure your iPod is connected, like you see mine is here, and click iPoner. And it's going to pwn the iPod. Make sure you don't touch your iPod while this is work that while this is all going. iPod connected. In a second, and yeah, once it wants to make sure it's connected. Okay, and now it's starting to actual pwn the poning process. And I will come back when it is done, so don't waste too much time. It will put it in recovery mode, and then this will happen. It will go in recovery mode though, and if it does not go in recovery mode by itself. Just turn it off and turn it back on. It'll say disconnected. When you turn it back on, it'll come on and then it'll go in um recovery in a uh, recovery mode. All right, now on the screen it says your iPod is being pwned. Please wait for reboot. Just press OK. Again, once it comes back up, when it boots and everything, it'll look like this. Except it will not have installer. That was just I had a little problem just now, and I had to restore using the custom firmware which had installer. And so you'll have this one point one point four, and it will be pwned. What you'll need to do next is go into iTunes, which I'm doing right now behind my iPod, and it'll look like this. Shift click restore. Shift restore, and find where you saved the 2.0 firmware file that I have in the description. 
so just look for it and right here like that and click open and it will restore your iPod touch into 2.0 and I will come back when that is finished and after it's done restoring it should look like this with the white background and the black Apple logo in the middle and it will come back up and as you see here the thing says edit home screen just dismiss and I'll put down the volume real quick the um, brightness real quick takes a sec okay. brightness is down general and you'll already notice here by all the different things that is 2.0 about shows you even more that's 2.0 and then go to mail and look at the top the Microsoft Exchange is there and the calculator works and everything so yeah that's how you do that um, I'm currently working on a way to get installer and iTunes into here but my iPhone firmware, I believe, has um, installer. And in iTunes, <clears throat> in iTunes, it will come up. The name will be preset to Untitled Playlist. You just change it to wherever you want from there. But I'm just going to keep it like that for now. And it'll even say software version is 2.0 like on iTunes <laughs> so yeah that's how you get 2.0 on your iPod touch any questions message me and I hope it was worth waiting the three days to get the amount of subscribers I needed um, any questions like I said message me comment rate and hopefully after all that other stuff still subscribe if you haven't so side touch Bala and later